Good morning. It's about 8 a.m. today. I'm working on today's spelling bee. I've been really into these puzzles from the New York Times. I've been doing them every morning lately. But it's about 8 a.m. It's Tuesday. It's voting day for the general election here in the U.S. and here in Texas. So school is closed today and that's usually where I work uh, for most of the day. So I have a day off basically today. I think my plan is I'm going to vote today and then I'm also going to work on the woodwind piece that I've been meaning to write for several years now so I can get it out, hopefully by the end of this month. This is a piece that I've been writing, if you will, since I was maybe about a junior in high school, I think. I came up with the idea of writing a woodwind chamber piece with a winter theme. I called it Snowfall Serenade. And at the time it was for flute, oboe, clarinet, bassoon, and bass clarinet. And now I've made it into a woodwind sextet, flute, oboe, clarinet, French horn, bassoon, and bass clarinet. So six wind players total. So when I was in high school, I wrote an initial first draft, if you will, of the piece. And it's maybe about three minutes long. And right now what I'm trying to do with it is turn it into a short piece, but I want it to be maybe just nine minutes long with three movements. For the past several years, I've thought to myself, man, I should really get that piece finished and get it done. But this year, I'm telling you, this is the year that it's gonna be done. And I think I first started writing this piece when I was in high school. This was probably eight years ago was when I wrote the initial version of this piece. And it's been eight years since I've touched it. So I have a bunch of themes that I came up with at the time that I'm going to reuse for the modern version of the piece now, but writing music is still hard. So that's what I'm gonna try to be working on today. Another deadline that I want to be ready for is my lesson with my composition teacher on Thursday and today's Tuesday. So I want to get enough headway done today so that I can have a good productive lesson on Thursday where I can then improve the piece afterwards. But that's where I'm at right now. So let me show you what I got on my screen. You'll see that I have measures empty just because I don't know what to put there yet. I'm finding that this is a great exercise in orchestrating for woodwinds, which obviously it's a woodwind piece. But also it's interesting, I've never written a woodwind quintet before, but I know that uh, adding a French horn is customary in woodwind quintet writing. And I really love the bass clarinet, so I knew that I wanted to add it to this ensemble. But I asked my teacher if he thought that adding a French horn would still be necessary. And he said that the main reason that the French horn is added to this group of otherwise, which would be all woodwinds, is for resonance. Uh, the French horn has this kind of spread sound that the other instruments just don't have and it adds a real kind of resonance to the overall ensemble. The French horn is heavier than the woodwind instruments, so you have to be careful how you score it, and a performer has to be aware of how loud they are compared to the other four woodwinds that are playing with them. But it just adds a unique color to the ensemble, and in orchestral writing, the French horns are not only paired with the brass much of the time, but they're also paired with the woodwinds. That's why the French horns are where they are on the orchestral page. They're in between the woodwinds and the rest of the brass. If you're wondering why that is, that's pretty much why. You know, I don't want to be cheesy and start adding in like Christmas tunes. I do want to be evocative of the kind of music that you hear during the holiday season, but I knew that I never wanted to be a specifically Christmas thing. I just wanted it to be a overall winter themed thing. So my three movements are movement one, morning snow. This is sort of like the feeling that you get when you wake up to a blanket of snow outside and you're ready to go outside and play. Movement two is called snowball fight. This is like when you're out with your family or your friends and you're throwing snow at each other and getting kind of the fun of that. And movement three, evening flame. This is like end of the day. It's been a fun, cold day, but you're ready to relax, sit by a fire and to just develop these warm memories with your friends and your family. That's what I want to evoke. I want to use jazzier, harmonies in this woodwind context. So that's what I'm trying to do. I've got about a minute 
written for each movement, but I need way more than that. So I actually have quite a lot of material. I just have to develop it enough so that I can flesh out the ideas that I have to increase the length of time that I have for these pieces. So I think that can be done and I think it can be finished, finished soon. So let's get to it. trying to get more of the jazz stuff out and I had this little figure that I didn't really like it kind of went like this it, it sounds like something from Pokemon but what I figured that I would do to this little figure was kind of reharmonize it instead of going with the tip because it outlines a B flat major chord like that's our arpeggiated so it's 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 um, a triad, basically. So I wanted to spice up the harmony a little bit. So the harmony I'm thinking should be this. Instead of... Instead of that, that's just so vanilla. So we'll see if that works in this context. And then it comes back, so I should change the figure a little bit, the harmony. Okay, so I've been writing for a couple of hours now. I'm going to go vote and then I'll come back and shoot a video. I'll be shooting this video that you see right here because it's already out by the time you see this, but I have to do that. Then maybe have lunch and then I'll get back to writing a little later. So it's been a couple of weeks since my lesson and since the last time I updated this vlog. So the piece is pretty much complete. I have to finish the second movement, but I've 
I've mostly figured it out, which is good. This week is Thanksgiving break, so I am not working at the school this week. So I get to spend all my time writing, making sure that this is good. And I also find this will probably be a good time to launch my music publishing business. So tomorrow is my goal. I'm gonna be launching it and this will be the piece that I'm launching with. Hopefully someone picks that up, but if they don't, that's fine, that's okay. Uh, it'll still be there for many more years to come. I'm also watching the World Cup right now. Uh, USA just scored a really awesome goal against the Wales, so. That was great. Regardless, what I'm gonna be doing today is finishing up the piece, making sure that it's complete note-wise. And then tonight and tomorrow, I'm just gonna spend time revising it, looking over th all of the parts, making sure that they look good, that there aren't any mistakes or um, poor considerations when it comes to performing and such. So that's what's on the agenda. Finish the second movement, get done with the piece and look over it. Man, I need a haircut now. Okay, so this is very exciting. I have looked over the entire piece. It looks fine, good enough. I can always update it after the fact. I'm happy enough with it that I'm going to upload it. I'm gonna put it up on my website and then I'm going to launch my music catalog for once and for all, finally. And voila, if you go to ernestocomposer.com slash catalog, you'll find my music catalog. I have a few pieces up there right now, but the latest one, Snowfall Serenade is finally out. I'm so happy that I'm finally done with the piece. I started it when I was 16 years old, I think. And I thought about making it into a, a proper piece every year since then. Finally, I did. And now it's out. Available for purchase for anybody who wants a cool woodwind sex set to play. So I've written this piece that was one minute and a half, close to two minutes to a seven minute piece with the original themes that I came up with when I was 16. So that's cool. Again, check it out, go on the website if you wanna see what it's like, or maybe if you wanna purchase it as well. I'm gonna, I think the next step, now that I've launched this publishing company, um, I'm planning on releasing a new piece every single month. So if you go to the website, you can sign up for the newsletter that will just tell you when uh, new pieces are, are coming out. So at least check it out. And if you run an ensemble, then consider buying it because it's it'll be, it'll be good. I really appreciate it. I hope you liked this inside look into the creation of this piece. And next month with a new piece coming out, I'll show you the sort of behind the scenes with the process of that one too. So till next time, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Ernesto Composer. You can visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash Ernesto Composer. You can get access to templates, score study versions of my own published works like Snowfall Serenade, uh, score study Sunday Hangouts every single month and more goodies. You can visit my website at ErnestoComposer.com. Thank you so very much for watching. And as always, take care.